Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome again to the devotional session of the prayer group Team Jesus. I'm Willis Sam from the heart city of India, Bhopal. Today I would like to for morning's devotion I would morning devotion I would like to share the seven little things that Bible teaches us or wants us uh, to be taken care uh, the word little there are so many things uh, it is in the form of little uh, which can be if we ignore it and we tolerate it it can be dangerous to our lives and especially the seven things that the Bible wants us uh, we need to take care of them uh, the first one is uh, uh, if we don't I'm sorry if we don't it's like tolerating a crack in the dam it's all beneath it's not on the surface you cannot see it but we know that um, what would happen later on so the first one is from the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 10 a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the hands to sleep so shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man so here God wants us about the little sleep we think a little sleep is okay it's fine we we need rest uh, yeah of course we do need rest but here the Bible talks about the re more than that that we try to have a little more than that more than what is required uh, and it's not a blessing for us it's we we ourselves stop our prosperity because your Bible wants us against poverty God doesn't want us to be poor and uh, God wants us to be prosperous because the Word of God says uh, it is the reward of the righteous prosperity is the reward of the righteous and how can we stop our prosperity by ignoring um, this discipline a little sleep the second one is from the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1 dead flies putrefy the perfumer's ointment and cause it to give off a foul odor so does a little folly to one respected for wisdom and honor little folly uh, we think uh, it's a small thing it's little but it's like a foul order. It does not suit a person respect for wisdom and honor. Uh, and as, as a child of God, we should be respected for our wisdom and honor that God bestows on us. And a little folly doesn't suit. It isn't appropriate to have little folly. So it, 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 it could, will cause damage to us. The next one is from the book of so Song of Solomon. Chapter 2, verse 15. Catches the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the wines. Uh, foxes are cunning, considered as cunning creatures. They are very sly. So, who, what, are, what does this symbolize, little foxes? Uh, these are little uh, stuff that we tolerate in the dear ones, our friends and uh, um, colleagues or neighbors or someone from our relatives. They creep in, uh, they look little, but they destroy or spoil the wine. Uh, and it, it, it is uh, talking about our marriage relationships, uh, our, our, our family, in any way if it is causing harm or problems or issues in our families, we have to be very careful about such people. They are little foxes. Many times we love them so much, we build up our friendship with them so much and we don't even realize that they are causing us damage. So we have to be careful about the little foxes. In fact, we need to hunt them down. We should remove them from our lives so that they don't spoil uh, our marriage relationships and our relationship in our family. Next one is from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. There we see uh, God says about, O oh, you of little faith, uh, we it's talking about worrying uh, that we should not worry uh, uh, 
and here he he it reads it it reads like that and yet i say to you that even solomon in all his glory was arrayed like one of these wasn't arrayed like one of these now if god so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you o you of little faith we shouldn't worry when we indulge in worrying uh, we we uh, decrease or we reduce our faith and without faith it's impossible to please god we should rather be built up in faith right and so we should not worry we should cast our cares and worries on god and we should trust him that he will take care of us very well next one is from the book of uh, is from the book of uh, luke chapter 6 verse 47 luke chapter 6 verse 47 uh, it talks about a uh, a sinner woman who comes and anoints christ's feet with fra- fragrant oil and there jesus says and his disciples start grumbling and there jesus says uh, but to whom little is forgiven the same loves little little love uh, when we don't realize how much are we forgiven we tend to love little uh, whereas god wants us to love him more uh, and obey his commands so when do we do that when we don't realize how much are we forgiven we should always know how much are we forgiven so that we will have more love for him Next one is from the book of Corinthians uh, Corinthians uh, first Corinthians chapter 5 in in the in chapter 5 verse 6 we see that it talks about a little leaven little leaven that leavens the whole lump it's talking about our association uh, a righteous man is careful with his friendship uh, who he makes friendship with a little association can be very dangerous i know uh, some of the incidents uh, i have come across um, some of the events that i have come across and that really proved that how much dangerous is it to have a wrong association uh, it is it comes in the form of little we try to ignore it or uh, we approve it and slowly we uh, indulge in it and it is dangerous for our spiritual growth it is it is it is damaging to us it won't be a blessing to us so we have to be careful about the little leaven and then lastly we will look at the one little member James chapter 3 uh, in James chapter 3 we can see uh, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things we have to be careful about this little member that is been given to us uh, how do we use it the whole chapter talks about it uh, it sets the whole course of nature uh, to fire uh, it, the we it it really tells us how much uh, damage can it cause to our lives and even to others so this little member in our mouth has to be tamed has to be uh, disciplined and we we can pray to god to help us to uh, take con- to have the self control and have the right wisdom to use this little member or it can cause lot of damage and with these words i would like to close i hope you are blessed with this morning devotion portion bye bye for now god bless